Okay then. So let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So let's be more interactive. Okay, let me now go here. So today's presentation is about a master degree in nursing. The program was jointly organized by Central University together with Zhejiang Chinese Medical University. Why I am making the presentation, I am Mary from Beijing Hongzhou Learning Collective. It is an organization they mainly assist in the universities in China to cooperate with universities in abroad because we have very solid cooperation with Tunisia and we have been there many times. So we would like to bring the good education resources to Tunisia. So later I will show you some pictures, the activities we organized in Tunisia as well. So first, this program, this university located in Hangzhou city, it's one of the fastest speeding developing city of China and also of the world. If you know about Alibaba, you know the shopping mall, possibly you know about Hangzhou because it is, um, uh, this, this company's Alibaba was founded in Hangzhou city. Okay, so today's presentation, including five parts, I will give you a general introduction of Hangzhou city. Okay, if you uh, have not been to China before, possibly this is new information. And then I will tell you a little bit about our company and uh, the activities we organized between China and Tunisia. And then the third one will be the introduction of Zhejiang Chinese Medical University. The fourth one will be the most important part, the master degree of nursing in general and detailed information. And on the last part will be very important for you. I will answer all of your questions you may have. Okay, so let's go to the Part one, this is a, uh, um, hold on a second, let me allow the students in. This one is called Hangzhou Dream Town. It's a very beautiful place. If you come to Hangzhou, uh, hopefully you will have a chance to visit this place. Okay. Hangzhou is a capital city of Zhejiang province. It's located in the south area of China. You know, China is a very large country and uh, um, Beijing is located in North area, like I am located in the North area of China recently. And the uh, Hangzhou city is in the South area of China. So this one is North, this one is South. They're very far from each other. It is now as parad paradise on earth. It's very beautiful and um, full of ancient buildings, like this white house have the lake and river surrounded the buildings. I'm very quiet, especially during the, uh, you know, working working days. It's really quiet, and this city has organized a lot of worldwide um, now activities like the summit, you know, G20 summit and workshop called Swimming Champion. And on 2022 this year, later this year, they are going to hold the Asian Games in Hangzhou. So then you will you will. No, I see that on the television, I think. Okay, so, so let me show you some pictures in Hangzhou. This is the uh, Vest Lake, and this is the uh, same place. This, this is Leifeng Tower. There's a very beautiful love, love story between a snake and a human. Very interesting. Uh, if you come to China, you will know about that and welcome you guys to visit the Vest Lake. And those are ancient buildings as well, as I showed you before. Uh, very, uh, how to say that, the Chinese old village town style. Okay, and then we will go to part two about our company. Um, so for me, currently I am inside of one of this building. This building called Soho. It's also one of the landmarks of Beijing. This building is was designed by an um, uh, Iraq, Iraq designer, a very famous Iraq designer. Okay, so some, oh, that's too fast. 
So some introduction of our company. Our company is an educational consulting firm. We, we founded in 2013. We, um, before the coronavirus happened, we um, lead more than 200 Chinese university teachers and students to Tunisia for the culture and master program. It's a great success. I would like to show you some pictures. We received a well, warm welcome um, from the local people. We really enjoy staying together with them. And we did a lot of very interesting activities. This is welcome ceremony and we tried your, your food. Oh, by the way, we went to Monastir, the tourist place of, um, uh, of Tunisia. So I guess you guys come from different cities of Tunis, right? Tunisia, right? right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, so great. And uh, we also um, <laughs> went to many um, tourist places of Tunis, Tunisia and even tried your dining hall. You know, this is the, your dining hall and we tried your food, kush kush. It's really good. Uh, let me allow the students in. Okay. And this one is some activities like this is a culture activity, culture exchange cap activity. You see those are teachers and students to, um, to do the Chinese uh, dancing and performance. Um, in front of Tunisia students. And we also experienced your traditional wedding show. It's very interesting. And this is we pick olive in the, in the farmland. Uh, this picture is, we organized the education fair in front of the students. And uh, this one is in Morocco, in Morocco. There are so many students come to study in China, same as Tunisia students as well. They visited some universities and see some you know, students. Okay, it's about our company part. Then part three, the most important thing is about your future university. It's called Zhejiang Chinese Medical University. This is their gate. Okay. Okay, so, so a, a brief introduction of this university. It's a key construction university in Zhejiang province. It's located in Hangzhou city. This is how it looks like inside. This university was founded in June, 1953. <coughs> it's a very large, uh, it has a very large campus. You can see the construction area of more than 470,000 square meters. It's a very huge university. They have so many, different schools, like five coming from medical schools, basic medical schools, because it's you know, a medical school. And they have more than 3,700 master and doctor students from, and more than 800 international students. So this is uh, how the university looks like. This is a traditional Chinese medicine building. And you guys will, um, you know, enjoy the lake inside of the campus. Are uh, many beautiful gardens here? This is how your accommodation looks like. Um, it's like, you know, uh, double room or triple room, decide which level of accommodation you would like to live. This is uh, how, how the um, outside looks like. <clears throat> and also the university have, have Muslim canteens and there you could get the, many different types of delicious food, which I would like to see a little bit similar with your traditional food as well. For Chinese people, you know, we um, possibly eat salty and a little bit oily. So, um, because you guys see, uh, eat olive oil, it's very healthy and very tight. And for Chinese people, we use different type of oil. So a little bit different, but I would like to say it's delicious as well because China, China is very famous for its delicious food as well. Okay, so, so I would like to show you a video. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, can you hear the sound? Okay, it should be fine. This is Hangzhou looks like, oh, what, what happened? Hold a second. It seems the connection is not very good. Thank you. 
So you have very convenient subway. You can go anywhere you want. Very subway. It's just near to your campus. And also many different kind of shops. Very convenient. This is a mostly canteen. Those are their um, faculties. This is a Chinese traditional way to, to treat patients. You will learn that as well. Those are cup, you know, Chinese traditional cup. You will do the internship in the hospital. Okay, that's all for this video. And hopefully you guys will uh, have a chance to come to experience it yourself and have your own story afterwards, okay? So then let's go to the important part, part four about nursing school. Those students are all foreigners. They um, do the test, let's see the treatment experiment in the inside of the campus to, to give the treatment to all of the students. Uh, in this in the university it's also a very interesting story so for the school of nursing it was founded in 1997 and was approved to, to grant a master degree in 2006 and afterwards we have uh, international students mainly from african countries since 19 uh, 2018 um, from mainly nearly 20 countries including nigeria and Jambia, Jambia, Congo, Zimbabwe, and also including the Tunisia students as well. So at the moment, more than 100 full-time master students and nearly 3,300 undergraduates have been trained for the society so far. And especially this one, the employment rate of previous graduates has reached more than 99%, which is very important <laughs> for you guys as well. 
So for example, after you complete a master degree study, you actually have um, many options, let's say for the career development. If you love the education research uh, field, possibly you can um, find a job as lecturer in Chinese Medical University, or you would like to pursue higher um, educational level. For example, you decide to pursue a PhD degree afterwards, then you will have more wide options to work in, in almost all of the medical universities you would, you would like. This is one option. The second option is you would like to uh, work in hospital or health center uh, to become the practical nurse um, or the management, uh, management person, something like that can be another option as well. So later I will tell you, I will show you the person teacher for graduates of which way of where they are working according to the statistics. Okay. So for their disciplines, for the nursing, they provide what makes them different. As I mentioned, it's a traditional Chinese medicine university and they have traditional Chinese medicine characteristics. So which means you cannot learn some like Chinese traditional way to treat patients in other uh, countries like Western countries, uh, only in China. So you will learn how to use the cup, you know, needles and the, the, the one 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 chia to treat your patient, you know, very on the traditional Chinese way and also very um, popular inside of China and in Russian and in other countries as well. So they have many off-campus practice spaces, which means um, your theory learned in from the university can be put in, into practice in the training basis, which is very important, especially for um, some practical courses like nursing or medicine or surgery, something like that. So you see, um, they have many different directions for your nursing. You have traditional Chinese medicine, nursing, clinical medicine, clinical nursing, health management, and rehabilitation nursing. So for the directions, you have to discuss with your supervisor which direction you would like to choose, and then you find the supervisor who fit to your direction. For master degree, it's a little bit different compared with bachelor because for master, it's more focused on the research and you will do a lot of research and you will do some um, joint uh, research together with your supervisor. So your supervisor's direction should be similar to what you want. Um, in this way, you can make your you know, uh, study and the graduation and the work uh, more smooth af afterwards. Um, so it is worth to mention a little bit about the teaching staff. They have very high quality teaching staff in this university. And you can see more than half of them have doctor degrees and they all have uh, overseas education background. They are very experienced um, teaching staff which, which can guide you both from the theory and the practical skills. <coughs> so you can see their age, age reach of the teaching staff. They're all like, mm, let's say young and full of energy. They'll have common language with, with young, young people, young students, which is also very important. Okay. So this one, uh, this is the academic leader for the nursing school, Professor Sun. Um, she's very experienced uh, teacher and supervisor. She got a lot of reward before. Um, she is also the fellow of American Academy of Nursing, and then she gained a lot of experience from different countries. So after you join this program, you will have chance to be supervised or to be taught by her as well. And you, if you have any questions, you can ask her for the professional guidance as well. So those are the teacher's experience. You know, they have to learn, always learn, even after they get PhD degree, they have to um, keep learning, keep growing. Um, they went to many different countries and famous universities to do exchange program, um, to, to do research together with even more famous um, professors uh, from the top universities, just in order to make sure they can provide the, um, the updated information and knowledge to their students like you guys. 
So they went to Japan, UK, USA, and the other countries as well. Okay. They also have many training platforms, like you know, uh, clin clinical nursing skills training platforms, uh, traditional Chinese nursing training platforms. There, uh, I mentioned many times, put your theory into practice. Okay. So here is the teaching facilities, how it looks like. So those three are the hospitals where you can do the internship to treat the real patients. Of course, you need to be very responsible to them. So you have to sharpen your knowledge to learn the solid knowledge. And then you will be selected to the hospital to do the internship to gain some hands-on working experience, especially treat the Chinese people, let's see, Asian people in general. Okay. So those are some exchange between the universities um, from different countries. <clears throat> Here, those are some pictures of the students from nursing faculty. This is the, they, cele they, celebrate, they celebrate the new year. Those are the um, teachers, okay. Some of the teachers here, most of them, let's say all of them here are ladies, right? Because <laughs> they did a very good job. So what you will do after graduation is what I want to tell you. Here is the chat, the percentage of this. You see, most of the students, more than 72% students work in the medical and health institutions afterwards, right? And some of them, of course, also work in the higher education institution, okay? So uh, as I mentioned, for example, if you would like to pursue higher education, you would like to be a teacher in the medical university, this is an option for you. And some of them also work in the house company, like pharmacy company or the house consultancy company. Some of them even run their own small business like clinical center as well. So you have many different options, especially uh, I would like to mention, if you decide to join this program, you definitely should um, learn Chinese very, very hard. Uh, the, mm, the, the more fluent you speak Chinese, the more opportunity you're definitely going to get. Um, if you speak fluent Chinese, you definitely have higher chance to work in Chinese hospital. You will have more, more options uh, compared with other students for sure. This is very important, but I'm very confident that you guys can master this language easily because we recruited many students from Morocco and Tunisia before, and we heard from some teachers from different universities, they said you guys have the talent in language study. So you should believe that you can master this language. You know, Arabic is the most hardest language in the world. You can master that. I believe you can master Chinese language as well. Okay, so this one is also very important. It's a graduate satisfaction survey result. So more than 90% of the students are very satisfied with the studies and everything in general. So this is the pictures of the nursing students. They're in the hospital doing internship and they have a meeting with their supervisor. They took pictures together and have fun. So you will be one of them as well. Okay, so do you have any questions about this part so far? Yes or no? You guys are still here? I did not hear the question, please. Can you repeat? Not yet. Okay. I mean, do you have any questions about this part so far? Do you have any questions so far? Uh, yeah, uh, mm. including like the language, do we have to study Chinese dur uh, during our studies or we have to get the Chinese language before we apply? You will at the same time, you know, the Chinese um, medicine university is going to send their teachers to Tunisia to teach you offline Chinese language. You have okay. face -to -face. So that means mm. the language that, that we are going to use while we are studying is English, right? 
is in English. The teaching language is in English, but at the same time, if I have Chinese class. Okay. Mm -hmm. A very good question. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so, so what's the benefit? Actually, you already feel what will be, what will this program benefit you? So here I'm going to make a summarize here. So first, you will get a worldwide recognized master degree provided by one of the top Chinese medical university. And the second, you will have chance to do the internship in big hospitals in China, okay? Or even job opportunities afterwards. The precondition is you should speak Chinese. Come on, it's a very important language. You definitely should master it, okay? And then, of course, learn Chinese language. You know, Chinese language is most spoken language in the world now. And uh, you definitely should, should master it, just like we speak English, okay? And then here is the document you should submit if you would like to apply for this program. The application deadline of this program is the end of this month, September 30th. So if you would like to apply for this program, you should begin to uh, prepare all of your document now. So first, application form. So after today's presentation, they are going to send you the list of the documents you should prepare because it's a long list and then it's, it's not easy to remember, right? First application form, we will send you the, the form. Okay, you just need to fill it. And first, the page of scan passport. If you do not have passport yet, you should hurry up to apply one as soon as possible. And your bachelor degree, let's say the undergraduate certificate and transcript. Uh, I know um, possibly they are not in English, in French or in Arabic, they need to be translated into English. And non-criminal court, you can apply for that in the local police station and physical check, you also need to write down 1,000 words study plan. So tell the university what you would like to study, what is your plan, what is your motivation, why you would like to join this program, okay? So because this is a very serious application, they only select you know, best students and make sure you're going to have a brighter future for your graduation or something afterwards. Okay, so this is the most likely what document you need to submit. Of course, we will send you, okay, send you in your email. And all of the documents, if they're not in English, need to be translated into English. They're the translation company need to be very formal document, okay. So it's all about the first of all part. And then the final part is the questions answered time. Do you have any further questions to ask? Uh, okay, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. The studies are going to take time as like one year, two years, three, how it's many? It's three years. Three it's years. less okay. for three years. And you guys okay. going to study in Central University, the Chinese Medical University going to send their teachers to there to teach you, which is convenient for you guys to take the education from Chinese University. And of course, while well, you study in Central University for this master degree, you will have choice or you, you say, oh, I would like to go to China. I would like to study sometime in China. It's no problem. So you can decide to come to China to study sometime. And eventually you will get a master degree from Chinese Medical University in nursing. Okay. You will have a chance to pursue a PhD degree in this university afterwards as well with scholarship, okay? The scholarship is only rewarded to very good students. And afterwards, possibly you can work in, in the university, in this university as a lecturer, if you want. I mean, if this is your career plan. Okay, anything else? How about others? Do you have any questions? How about others? No, yes? Okay. No. So, no, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. If now, then that's it for today's presentation. Uh, and after the presentation, I'm going to send you guys email. Okay. If you didn't receive an, any email 
please remember to contact us via WhatsApp. I think most of you guys have WhatsApp, right? Um, so hold on a second. Let me write down our WhatsApp here. Mm. So you can you can remember it. So this is our WhatsApp number. And if you didn't receive email from our site, please remember to contact us via this WhatsApp and we will send you the email again. Okay. So uh, if no any questions, that's it for today. Thanks for attending today's presentation and wish you a very good day. Hopefully see you in China one day. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Bye bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.